The final of the Sunday games, there's four games this Sunday. It is the big one. It is Japan against Scotland. This is all assuming it goes ahead. I believe they're doing a weather check on Sunday morning in Japan to make sure the game goes ahead. I think all of us uh, will be hoping and praying that the game goes ahead, um, you know, just in terms of the, of the game and that everything is safe and sound and everything is kind of all good to go. So uh, it's a massive game. You got Japan, who are first in the group, unbeaten. Uh, Scotland, who are third. There is going to be the game against uh, Ireland and Samoa first. That game's being played today on Saturday. So that, if Ireland win, could see them top of the pool. And this game will decide which two teams go through. It could be any of them. Even if Ireland win. If Ireland win with a bonus point, they are through. It just depends which one of these teams go through. If Ireland don't win with a bonus point and the weather is pretty horrible, um, then it could still be any of the three. Com you know, the, the combinations could could involve any of the three teams. So, um, yeah, there's a, a wee bit of rugby history between these two teams. They've met seven times. Uh, Japan's never won, at least not from what I could see. And um, the last five, obviously, have gone Scotland's way. The average score is uh, is 47-11 to Scotland. But that does include one game where where Scotland got 100 points in 2004. And that seems a bit of a stretch from, from where we're at at the moment. The most recent result, which was in Tokyo uh, in 2016, was Scotland 21, Japan 16, which kind of seems more like uh, where we're at in recent times uh, between these two teams. So uh, it is predicted to be a pretty close one. Uh, I think I predicted... Scotland to get this job done before the start of the tournament, but uh, yeah, uh, either way, Japan's home advantage, Scotland's general more exposure and uh, higher level rugby, it's a clash of these two things, which one's going to come out on top, uh, it really remains to be seen. Um, I'll put the teams in the description so you guys can have a look. The Japanese team looks to be a pretty settled one, Inagaki Horie and Ku in the front row, Ku seems to have cemented that uh, tight head spot. Um, you know, and I think he played one game from the bench and then he's kind of been tight head. So, uh, Thompson's back in the second row. Moore's there. Leech is at six. Labuskakni seven. Himeno is eight. That's a very, very good back row. Uh, Nagari and Tamura nine and ten. Again, they have been phenomenal all tournament. Uh, Nakamura and Lafaele in the midfield. Fukuoka gets a start this time. Uh, he spent the last couple of games on the bench, but did get injured just before the tournament started. Uh, Matsushima, who has been on fire, he continues on the right wing, no surprises. Uh, and Tupo is back at fullback, which um, he did have a couple of issues under the high ball in this tournament, so that'll be one to watch. Uh, the bench, Takate, Nakajima, Avalu, Hilu, uh, Tui, Tanaka, Matsuda, and Yamanaka. There's no Lameki. I haven't seen if he's injured or if this is a tactical decision. Uh, so yeah, I mean, Japan, if they get a win, they go through. If they get a losing bonus point, then they're still putting themselves in with a good shot. Uh, if they lose without a bonus point, then they could be in trouble. So we'll just have to wait and see. A draw also works in their favor. A canceled game would also see them go through too. Uh, for Scotland... A short turnaround for them. If you look at uh, Japan, they played on Saturday against Samoa, so a week and uh, a day to the game. For for Scotland, they played on Wednesday against Russia, so it is a really shorter turnaround for them, and they've made changes accordingly. Uh, Hogg is back at 15, Russell's back at 10, Laidlaw's back at 9. None of those guys played in that last game. The only guys who continue on from the starting 15 are Darcy Graham and Tommy Seymour. So on the wings, they may have some heavy legs, but I guess we'll see if, if the weather's bad. That may not be such a factor if it's kind of kept tight. Uh, Sam Johnson and Chris Harris in the midfield. Blade Thompson, Jamie Ritchie, Mag uh, Magnus Bradbury in the back row. Again, very useful. So how those two teams go up against each other will be absolutely fascinating. Johnny Gray is back at second row. Again, he didn't play in that last game either. Uh, Gilchrist, Nell, Fraser Brown, and Alan Dell. Uh, rain uh, round out the team uh, the bench McAnally who's kind of been dropped to the bench for this one it's uh, a tactical thing uh, Reed Xander Fagerson uh, the front row replacements Cummings Wilson George Horn Peter Horn and Blair Kinghorn uh, that's a lot of horn uh, on the bench for Scotland uh, Maitland's got a groin injury so not uh, under consideration for this one otherwise you think he would be playing and um you know, you wouldn't have to play the two wingers two games in a row. But, um, 
Yeah, that is what it is at World Cup time. So Scotland need a bonus point win. And I think a win with no bonus point can also work if Japan don't get any kind of bonus point. But preferably Scotland need to go and get a bonus point win to give themselves the best chance uh, of, of qualifying. We still need to wait and see what happens with that Ireland game first. So yeah, it is a massive one. Don't want it to be cancelled. We definitely want it played. Uh, in safe conditions for everybody, of course, it goes without saying. Um, traditionally, Scotland have been the team over Japan, but in this tournament at home, really anything is possible. Rugby forecast, the algorithm, has Scotland by seven. And the bookies have got Scotland by two. So interesting, Japan are still the underdogs for this one. Um, but yeah, I guess some teams will like being the underdog. Uh, and uh, maybe that is true here. You guys let me know your thoughts on this one. How do you think this one is going to go? Do you think uh, Scotland handle this this pressure well? Likewise, Japan. Um, because there's pressure on them too. But again, we also do need to see how this island result goes um, before, before we know how things are going to play out. It could come down to head-to-head -head records and points difference. So yeah, all the teams can still make it if Ireland don't get a bonus point one. Uh, you guys let me know your thoughts, and I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.